Every singles welcome. This is your singles read. Call it Meet Your Soulmate. And here I'm going to look at it a little differently. I'm going to try to look at you here with four cards in your person. Here I'm just going to tell you of two people. So forgive me for laying them out. Due to technical problems, I have to do it this way. And I rather like it. Um, I think what I see here in terms of a time frame is the recent past in your life. And you had two choices. It might could be this is a pattern because, you know, here you have uh, two choices coming towards you in the near future. This is, a, you know, mid-December. I say, remind you, mid-December time frame. However you want to uh, say, say that. I'd say whatever you watch it, right? As soon as you watch it, it's, oh, it's on. And, um, but it didn't end well. I mean, you see the five of cups here. Is that, yeah. It's a Clint Dark deck. It's a little different. But you see, yeah. You're not feeling too good. But the three of cups then, um, you're dating again. And I get the feeling... Uh, with this two of wands, you know, I did, you know, it's cliche, but it's Aries, you know, and a lot of Aries, you know, can, you know, got a lot of Pisces energy, whatever. They don't necessarily have to be fast, you know, but it, it, I see this kind of fast movement. Um, like, um, I got the feeling, Aries, that this uh, choice that you made that uh, didn't go well, I, I don't know, you, you may have failed, feel that you chose wrong, maybe. Uh, two out of it, which I think there's actually, you almost can't, sh that's the secret, you almost can't really make a mistake. <laughs> well, let's not pass that along. We don't want everyone to know that. Um, so there might have been a little bit of that with it, but you know, you really bounce back and with this Three of Cups, um, you're out um, really strongly Maybe you learned something from this, but you're out here with this king of wands, uh, wands here. This has got to be you, Aries. Now, you know, two of wands, okay. I think that was your passion. Probably maybe you could say maybe a, a too passionate decision, too quick a decision. Um, but now you're, you're really fired up here. That's you. And um, it certainly feels like this is coming from getting out and mingling. It very well could speak to dating and it could speak to, or just to you, really attracting a lot of people, uh, Pisces. I mean, Aries. <laughs> uh, keep thinking you have Pisces in your chart, so that's got to be relevant, which is not unusual, right? You have a personal plant there, easily are luminary. So... Um, kind of implies to me with the king of wands that you've really leveled up though like you really did learn something i'm going to have to clarify that what did you learn uh page of cups you know you learned something about your emotions here that's what this was it was like a message of, it's a message emotionally that came from this experience um, and I think the Three of uh, Cups here is very good. It's really opening up the heart, and uh, it's not just necessarily fooling around, can be, but it's uh, feeling good, um, having emotional energy. Three is great, it's moving. And, you know, now you're showing up with this king energy here. Uh, male or female, um, doesn't matter here. It's still, you know, Cert, being certain, being confident um, as you're moving more and more towards this person. And I think we see two people here. So really what I see, there's very to make it simple, there's the Knight of Cups here. So that's a water sign, Mars. It's coming at you. The other one that's coming is only a page of swords. So that's an air sign. So you've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, people, two, dos coming at you. Um, 
uh, one will be more mature possibly this one the the cups person the water person um, and one the other will be a little younger um, but they will really speak out the younger one the swords one you know and they might they might I see them saying things uh, anything from uh, well age doesn't matter to um, you know uh, what's the use of uh, something uh, not taking a chance if you're in love or um, in some way uh, verbally um, particularly if your love language Aries is, uh, is um, you know, uh, words, they, this person could really get to you here. But this person here, it gets you back in this Seven of Swords energy, you know, and it's kind of back like this Five of Cups, you know. So I think with this person, they trigger you. There's something about what they do. Um, and probably now what happened from what happened, you, you became more aware of your feelings. So... You know now that when something kind of disturbs your peace and makes you feel uncomfortable in any way, well, now you know that's not for you. And I think that's what you're feeling here with this person. That's the water sign. And, you know, um, I think you're trying to kind of understand it with this Seven of Swords. I think you, maybe you kind of are. I'm hoping this is helping. I really think that's a lot what it is. Seven of Swords is not sneaky or anything like that. Um... um uh, trying to understand it and this person is being inscrutable to you um you you i guess the seven swords you could say you just don't trust them it's like there's no reason really uh not to trust them um they could have black moon lilith you know on your ic or moon or something make you nervous you know on your ac you can feel like somebody's breathing down your neck and, and not in a good way um and so I get the feeling there'd be kind of like this instinctual understanding with this Seven of Swords. This behavior to you is going to be rather obvious. And one way, again, you're going to know, I think, comes back to your feelings. You've learned to trust your feelings. So then here comes in this page of swords. And where you end up, I mean, just look. It's Eight of Pentacles is a great card. It's the great good workers card. And implies for a relationship building really building and working on a relationship do you see here in this Clint dart deck you know the wife is pregnant they're very empathetic and you know you get the feeling i do from looking at that that they're they're a couple they're together they're, they're happy looks like they're looking that's our baby we're gonna have our baby's not great and when you're eight of pentacles you got it eight of pentacles gonna be a king one day gonna be a queen one day that's how that works, you know. Um, so I think this is the one you're going to want, this air sign here coming in, guys. They may be a little younger. They may have a little, like a little something to prove. Um, but they're going to have the quick mind. They're going to make jokes uh, that are subtle. They're going to impress you with their mind. If, if you're a sapiophile... Uh, you're gonna love this. You're good for the love of your life because this person I'm probably witty and this kind of thing um, and I think what I see here is you guys really Embarking on developing a relationship. It looks super healthy too. It's such a positive card a good worker card Maybe you both you, you know, you don't immediately get married and move in But you really start getting to know each other and carrying on this long-term relationship that's uh, meant to grow and when you see pregnancy here, it means that something's going to grow. It's something, it's in its infancy. It's a seed has been planted. And this, you see your person here, this air sign's looking right at it, right? So, so you know, uh, I mean, it could literally be a, a pregnancy, but it's uh, uh, often like in dreams, that you dream of pregnancy. Uh, you know, it's a new beginning. You're having a new beginning. So uh, let me know what you think of that, Aries. I appreciate it.